Hi guys and welcome to my second video on YouTube and today I'm going to teach you how simple it is to install software on Ubuntu 10.10 .10. now you guys may be thinking why is he giving such simple tutorials on such simple things on Ubuntu well I have to admit though I've only had Ubuntu for about a week and a half and as I'm learning I'm trying to learn and try to help others with it so when I did when I first installed Ubuntu it was pretty confusing for me I didn't I didn't know how to install things I didn't know how to install software I didn't know any of that it's not like Windows you don't go to a website and you download it or there are some special cases here where you have to install a software off of a website but most software you get them from something that you it's, it's called Ubuntu Software Center so let's say I wanna right now I'm gonna be installing the VLC media player so I'm gonna teach you how to do that First we go to Ubuntu Software Center and it takes a little bit to load. Once it's loaded you get categories here for accessories, education, games, internet, science, engineering, all that stuff. So let's say for me I want something sound and video because VLC is sound and video. I go there and then you have this bunch of programs for anything that has to do with video and photos and sound and everything but I want to narrow down my search let's say like I said I wanted VLC so I'll just write in VLC and it comes up right there you don't even have to go to category, the category of the software that you want you can just go on the main page and you can just write the a keyword let's say VLC and as you see it comes up I'm gonna install it you can you don't have to write it when install you can actually press the more info button and it can give you a like a simple description of, it, of the software. So here it says um, VLC is a video LAN project media player plays blah, blah blah blah. So here's a, all the formats that it plays here: Quick MP3, OGG. You can kind of read about it here. It tells you the plugins that's gonna come with, additional plugins, Mozilla plugin, documentation for the video LAN. So it gives you quite a like a lot of information about it, the total size, version, what kind of licenses, it updates, does not um, it doesn't provide updates for VLC and there's always a, a screenshot, not always but most software that it's like known it comes with a like a screenshot and that's basically it this is a screenshot of the VLC media player that I want to install so you can just press once you get out of here you can just press install and it tell, uh, asks you for your password and it installs now as you see there's an install bar right here and there's another one here in the install bar, uh, in, in progress so here it tells you that it's downloading and it tells you where it's at in the installing process it's actually pretty simple you don't need to know the name of it let's say you, you want a torrent program but you don't know any torrent programs that aren't in Linux and Ubuntu so you don't know a name for anything. Usually you put uTorrent, but we don't have uTorrent here. We have something else ca called KTorrent or Qubit Torrent. So you can put in keywords like just torrent. There's KTorrent, Vuz, Kbit Torrent, Fat Rat. They all seem to be t something to do with torrent. You can also go into more information, read about it. But there are softwares that you actually have to have the name of it. Like for me, I use as you see here, <coughs> I use a, I use this DLogic BitTorrent client. I don't know why. It's just it's very simple. I I recommend it to everyone. It's like really nice. So let's say you wanted that, you'd actually have to have the name. So you'd write it in and it'd just come up. But I already have it installed, so I wouldn't need to install it. And I can show you right now if you want. Where is it? Internet. I can just drag it over here. I get confused. See, it's very simple. Tells you status, details, files, peers, options, and for the more advanced people, which I'm not really, you have a lot of options here. A lot. Like network, test port, you know, a lot of stuff that experienced people would want. So it's actually very simple to download software on Ubuntu. You just need to 
know the keywords or the program that you're downloading there are other ways as a lot of people know it's from the terminal usually it's something like sudo get I don't know, AP. I'm not sure though but there's another way to get software from the terminal and it's only if you know exactly what you're doing I gotta admit I'm not very professional yet with the terminal I'd rather go to the, um, to the Ubuntu Software Center to get my programs but there's some programs that like for the screencast the Kazam screencaster you can't really get it from here like as you can see if I go to get software Kazam it just doesn't come up nothing comes up here it came up because I have it installed but usually when I tried installing Kazam I, I would put in Kazam but it just didn't come up so you would have to actually go to a site or somewhere on the internet where it tells you how to get it it tells you the code and then once you get the code you just go in here copy paste it into here and it'll install for you so it isn't really hard to get most of your ordinary programs like internet browsers office stuff like that the most mainstream software that you get on Ubuntu it's all it's all over here in the Ubuntu software center so it's really easy and once you want <coughs> excuse me once you want um, want to install a software you just search for it and install it but about uninstalling I would recommend that people to have it like to fully uninstall a program there's one way it's like here you press it and you put you press re um, remove but another way to remove it which I recommend and I use a lot is you go to administration and you go to the synthetic package manager put in your password and right here it's more experienced I guess for the more experienced people I'm not saying I'm experienced but I just feel more comfortable removing software from here let's say I want to remove the delodge as you can see it's right here um, removal complete removal you see this mark for complete removal I don't know why but I think that Ubuntu software center doesn't really have the option of complete the mark for complete removal so I just feel more comfortable removing software from here it's pretty easy and it would remove any packages that came with the software so for instance no quit quit install yeah. for instance you install the software uh, I'm not sure any, like any software you install that program and it came down it came with packages once those packages are used by software they stay on the computer even though you uninstall the software itself the packages stay so when you put the complete removal from the sympathetic package manager you remove the software with the packages that you probably won't need after un uninstalling the program so that's the video that I made for how simple it is to install things so I want to show you the VLC play that I installed right here it's sound and VLC media but you don't need to restart or anything here's the welcome sign or whatever privacy and network and there you go it's really simple actually it's actually even more sim uh, easier than Windows I have been a Windows user for a long time but once I found Ubuntu I just fell in love it's amazing and that's my video thanks for watching